I've been lured a long way from home by Wanaka-based guide Jake Berry. It's early season and Jake reckons it will be worth the trip south as he knows of a few spots off the beaten track well worth a look early season. An encouraging sign was Jake hooking and landing a nice fish right off the road on our way to the spot where we were to base ourselves for the next two days. All right, we shall see how we go from here. Yep. Everything's going to plan so far, so... We've got to go and get a feed. That's, that's paramount at the moment. Yep. I'm starting to fade. With the weather looking superb, we're on the road early in search of our chosen location and the solitude and epic fishing we hope it will provide for our hike and overnight trip. I'll sneak it in there, just to fish you off. Our thoughts are already on the river some distance up valley as we gear up the heavy packs and set off up a rough bush trail. Being Jake's backyard, he knows what we will likely experience, but for me, it's my first time here. So the journey of discovery adds an extra edge as we make our way towards the river. The river has opened out to some broad sandy flats and we find some trout that prove challenging in the slick and slow moving water. After trying the normal upstream approach without success, I switch to downstream in an effort to avoid lining them and come and fly first. Coming up. Well done, mate. It's a slabby, shitty fish, but it's a fish out of here, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take it. We were on the board, and shortly after, Jake finds himself attached to a nice brownie. I think we might just have to commit to crossing, mate. It's pretty fresh. Mm. Yeah, nice colour. She's a bit better than the last sort of sleepy one. Yeah. Nice. Nice, yeah. Cool. Right on. All good in the hood, mate. Yeah. Try and get a few more. Yeah, let's do it. A small spring creek joining the main river hinted at a promise we couldn't refuse and not far up found a fish close to the near bank that looked likely to take a dry. The low fly might be yesterday's news. Mm, could be. Try over a bit more. Oh, 
play pinball through there. Good stuff, mate. Played, um, they played pinball on that drift. Yeah. Well done, sir. Thank you, sir. Oh, there you go. Look, nice to explore these little um, little side creeks. You never know if they've got fish. This has had a few in it. Yeah. Nice nice chunky wee fish. Not too bad. There you go, fella. Now it's Jake's turn. Yeah, nice. Well done, Jackie. Sweet, mate. He's trying to bury himself in the weed. It's actually a better fish. He's trying to bury himself in that weed. He's actually got a bit more um, in him than you think, isn't he? Yeah, it's just because I'm standing in the water. Oh. It's a strange sort of fight. You didn't do much at the beginning and then you got a bit angry when you grabbed him by the tail. Yeah. Well, yeah, I've got to admit I would if you grabbed him by the tail. Far too early to be grabbing him, but... All good. Oh, it's lovely. Not a night, nice bit of work. Yeah. Probably one of the better conditioned ones we've actually caught. Yeah, they haven't been. Yeah. Not yet, I, I suspect that, as yeah. you said, they're going to be better further up. Further up. But, um. Yeah, once we get into the more, uh. a bit more current in the, in the river. Yeah. Find those holding fish rather than the cruisers. Yeah. It's hard to beat a riverside banquet and Jake cooks up a storm. Lunch at the Hilton. There are at least three fish lined up we can see and Jake is targeting the closer of two directly ahead. Oh, come on. Yeah, it's a, it'll be within sight. Hasn't acknowledged it though. Just a little bit wider than it needs to be, eh? Nice. Nice, yep. Beauty, mate. Well done. Probably not got no uh, access to that net. <laughs> oh man, good stretch. Good stretch, mate. Nice wee fish. Smell like it, dude. That's nice. Yeah. Hold right. on. Off you go fishing. You go downstream so we can catch this other one. <laughs> Beauty. Right, and you're on the camera because I'm going to go and catch this one. Nice one, mate. Well done. Three all. Like that. Three all, yeah. The next fish has remained undisturbed, and I'm quickly in behind him. Yeah, we get a quick 
nosy. Just saw it hit the water, didn't he? Yeah. Um, yep. <laughs> nice one, mate. Get myself out of a tangle here. Well, I've been getting them to come up and hit the dry, haven't I? Yeah. For some strange reason. Not complaining. Master of the dry fly today. <laughs> Master of the luck, I did can probably put it. Probably tail this guy actually. I might just move up. I don't think there's any fish up there, so nah, I'll go for it. Get him get him Oh, mate. Cheers. It makes up for the one you cocked up at the uh, <laughs> number one of the three fish lined up and here's, happily. And here's me thinking you weren't going to mention that. <laughs> <laughs> no, you're right. That was a big cock up. And we've got a fourth one sitting up here. Four in a row. Oh, yeah. He's a good spot. Yeah. Nice chunky wee fish. Nice mate. Beauty. Getting a bit of condition in there now. I'll just slip him down through here. So we don't have to the other one up there. There you go, fella. Yep. Good to go, mate. Alright. Yep. Change the nymph, we'll see what happens this time. It's pretty good. <laughs> Who needs a bloody nymph? <laughs> Far out. <laughs> he's, hot, he's slipped off the dry onto the nymph. Oh, is he? Yeah. Even though I've done that, it's three times now I've, I've changed to a... Um... Changed your nymph and your... And change the nymph, and they've come up, looked at the nymph, then changed the mind and taken the dry. Yeah. After a heap of cast gone past them. Get out of here. Alright well mate, nice wee fish. It's quite long, eh? Yeah. A bit longer than the others, yeah. yeah. Nice one, mate. Some lovely colours on them, eh? Yeah. So it has to be big to be fun? No, exactly. Yeah, he's moved up. Is it too deep to get below yourself? Oh, okay. Yep. Nice. He had a wee wiggle at it. Oh. Not sure what he did then. Yeah, he's looking at it. Coming up, coming up. Beautiful. <laughs> when he saw that big 12, he went, I'm having that. Yeah. He decided from the bottom. He yeah. As soon as it landed, he shot forward. Yeah, I thought he was going to come up to the nymph, 
Yeah, he just went right past that nymph. I'll have that, he says. Nice. All good? Yep, nice. I've got a dry dropper rig on the water here for an elusive fish that has been cruising the pool. Seen it? Coming up. Coming up. Beautiful, mate. Oh, stunning. I bloody had a bit of a trouble there because the, the nymph kept pulling the dry under every time I cast. Yeah. I was about to cut it off and I saw him below me. Now that time I thought he would take the nymph. Might pay to cut that nymph off I think. The rate these fish are going. Yeehaw! Well done, mate. Thank you. <laughs> that was cool. Nothing wrong with that at all, eh? And good on him for taking a dry. <laughs> Mwah. Cheers, mate. I'm trialling a jointed mayfly nymph for a friend. Clayton Nickel on a fussy fish here and varying the placement to try and entice a take. Clayton Nichols flies. A little segmented body um, swimming mayfly nymph. Had really good success in a real tough river the other day. Fish up to about eight pounds on it. Actually a little bit better than he looked. Find something to need him. I'm not, I'm not a big fish, but bloody power. Yeah. Nice condition though. Yeah. That's a lovely fish. You know, one of the nicer condition ones today. Found a customer here lying in an awkward little spot. But, um, Super Jake rec um, reckons he'll get in there and get him first cast, so we'll see, <laughs> so we'll see how he gets on. He's risen once or twice, so I think dry's the, the choice. Nice cast. Yeah, oh. nice. Oh! oh! He's in strife! Oh, he's done well. <laughs> Got stuck under all that. Someone not unlike myself mentioned that something like that might happen. Yeah. <laughs> uh. It's what you say called drilling the cast between his eyes. Yeah. Unlikely horse, No, he didn't, did he? Yeah.
Not bad, eh? Yeah. yeah. Not bad at all. Right on, mate. Yeehaw. If you got that by stripping in there. Okay, yeah. Strip that down there. Some of the fellows didn't want to hook it up. Look at that, just bloody gorgeous, isn't it? I like your backyard, Jackie. Not too bad, eh? No. Too soon. He was a bit green. I didn't yeah. want to haul him up on the yeah. bank and um, knock him around. As soon as I touched his tail. That's why I love these wide arbor re reels, though. They're just so much capacity. Waterworks vanquished. Fly again. Did the trick? Yeah. No, no, I'll show you the fly. It's a Clayton Nickel special. I don't think you can see it very well, but segmented body. It does the trick well, eh? Anyway, I'll well, put this, you know, not too bad, eh? Not too bad. Strong little fish. And now I've got wet nuts. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Come up left on that, hopefully. Oh, he might come left yet. He is. Oh. Yeah, just about, eh? Probably don't need to lead him quite as much, you think. That's nice. Oh, he did it again. This time? Oh, you're unlucky then. Yeah, I got him. Nice. Jeez. Got a bit of wheels there. First one! The first break? Or was it a spat hook? Maybe. Let's have a look. God, we just talked about not having lost a fish. Spat hook, jump and spat. Spat it. Yeah, well, we hadn't lost one all day. Well, it had to be, we dinked, well, I think I jinxed it. Well, at least we didn't break it off. No, I, I, put, broke I was putting some pressure on it. But. Hell yeah. Jake snuck over, there's a fish over here against the bank. Put it a metre and a half out and snuck over to have a crack at him from there. It's got pretty shit viz, but he reckons you can just see him. That's close. Lift! Nice! Woohoo! Good backhand cast, buddy. Showing off the skills. Yeah. Oh, he's under that. Yeah. Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, he had to cross, eh? And he had all that to get into. Fly history. Good work though. Yeah. <laughs> you get the jump? 
Yeah, yeah dead. Yeah, nice. Passed him by about a metre. Yeah? Oh, there he goes, yeah. Oh. Boom, he's off. It's a bit odd, wasn't it? Quite a ferocious take. He boiled on it, like, he, as soon as it landed, he was up on it. Yeah. It's exactly what one of the cast. Just yeah. don't give him time to think about it. But he sort of, whether he rejected it as he took it, I'm not sure. Jake cruising, fish rising right across on the far side. Can't see him, but he's right over in the mm. dark edge. Well, that's right there. Oh, he's gone ahead. <laughs> Oi! Yeah, I think it was two fish there, mate. It was two. Well done, mate. Very nice way to finish off the day. Well done, buddy. There you go. Got him, mate. Oh. And he's out of here. All right. Well deserved, buddy. That's yeah. Nice. Yeah. There was a bit of work in that. Yeah. Up and down the river. You out of here. Yeah. Sure are. It's been a good day. Home light of fire, reminisce. Yeah. yeah. yeah I've been uh, looking forward to the fire for a good part of the day, eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's pretty brisk water. Still yeah. in the first month of the season, so. Mm. I think it's more just the whole concept of being in bed at night, fire going, mm. you know. Yeah, that gives you, you know, it's bloody comfort. Not warm your day too. Mm. Yeah, good sleep, good feed. Cooked up by Mr. Berry this morning. And, um, Can head out and I think he's champing at the bit to get out and do some fishing, so we better. Got my vest on, mate. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to go. The day's first pull is holding two nice fish and I'm lining up the first. It's to his right, he's coming over. Yep! 
Good work, Mikey. Is it a white cod? One cast, yeah, he's, I think he's a good fish. I'm trying to hold him down. Oh, mate, don't, don't stress too much. <laughs> Yeah, nice. Well, what a beautiful fish, Jake. I mean, really, it's just, you know, not, not large, just a bit over four pound, but just beautiful, you know? In glorious condition, and geez, it, it fought about, it punched about, I'd say, two pound above his weight. Yes. Okay, we'll get him away. <laughs> Good work, mate. <laughs> Cheers, mate. Nice. I can't see it. I can't see yeah, I got it. I'll tell you. He's turning. Go. That's right. Good cast. Yeah, good Perfect good. cast. Yep. Yeah. It's a good job you let me know. Well done. Beautiful bit of work. Sweet. The top bit of angling, buddy, again, you know, nailed the first cast. Yeah, I think that was pretty good teamwork, mate. Yeah. Yeah. I couldn't see him uh, take that. Yeah. Just yeah. great fun, these fish, eh? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Next. Next one. The next fish we find looks a little more challenging. It's certainly wide around the head. Yeah. Just watch behind you, mate. Just check, check your back car seat, yep. Well done, mate. That was beautiful. Now what do I do? Now the fun bit. Yep. <laughs> I think you got a good fish on there. I'm not having a good fish. Yeah. So don't, don't cock it up, all right? <laughs> it's going to be the uh... Yeah, yeah, eventually. Yes, okay. And then I want to be here probably. Still there. But... I don't like this. Nice. It's more like a five, this one. Yep. And it's going to go there, and if he does, it's going to be... Drop rod right and grab it on the way out. Yeah, I have to. If I can get up here, I might have a shot, actually. <laughs> well, if he that. wanted to go under that log, I was toast, but luckily I got him. I won't take him any further out because there might be another one in here. Yeah, yeah no worries, mate. He's okay. a slightly better fish. Oh, hello. 
he just was in that sort of holding mode. Yeah. And I managed to steer him through it all before he sort of decided he was going to fight hard again. A little bit lucky. You meant to say skillful, mate, not lucky. <sighs> Slightly better one. Yeah, nice, mate. We've got a little bit of gravel in there to make him look heavier in the net. Yeah, weigh it, mate, weigh it. Get a quick weight on that one. <laughs> oh, it's shade under five here. Yeah. Four and three quarters. Yeah. Nice fish, isn't it? Beautiful, mate. They, they really do fight. Some, it's funny that some rivers you just get fish that battle to the death, and this is one of them, I think. Yep. Yeah. Beauty! Good job. Right, nymph change. This guy's come back, chased him all over the pole at the moment, he's back where he originally was. Much heavier than that, but a longer dropper. And that should do it. Comes. He's angling up. Nice. Oh, we just got gotten away then. Good fish, I thought. He was a good fish, all right. Is he taking your stonefly? Yeah. Oh man, just power. Yeah. Power plus there. Solid fish, mate. Probably the one we wanted, eh? Yeah, damn it. That there, folks, officially is a damn it face. <laughs> oh, bad luck. Fuck, he just smoked you. Yeah, he did smoke me. Oh. Good work, Mikey. I'll tell you what, I can't stop this. Yep. Oh, it's a lovely fish. Yeah. Oh, good time. Every single time you've made a call, oh, there's beautiful fish on this corner. Anyone would think I've been here, mate. <laughs> That's remarkable. Beautiful. Lovely. Look at that. That's, that's a lot nicer fish, eh? Gorgeous colours on him. Okay. Going there fishy. Gotta be going that way. It's a beautiful fish that appropriately signals the end of a trip we have both enjoyed immensely. It's a magical place of stunning variety and almost as a bonus a good number of modest sized trout to provide the enjoyment and challenge we sought. It will certainly not be the last time we come to enjoy this wonderful playground and I urge you to enjoy and respect our rivers, lakes and streams by practicing careful catch and release and above all respect your fellow anglers by limiting the time you spend in each spot so we can all have the chance to experience the joy of fly fishing in paradise. <laughs>